All right. All right. It fits. Over there. That's good. Tie it back. Come on, get that over here. Lagging behind. Hey, you there. Excuse me, mister. Mister? Yeah, what do you want? I knew it. I recognize that nasty look. It is you, big brother Gonzo. Yeah, well, sorry about the nasty look. If you don't have any business with me, then scram. Everybody says that Gonzo of Tenmato is famous for his strength and big arms. Yeah! Eh, well, that's what they say. I'm a very serious warrior, so don't take it lightly. Do you think you can move this column for us? Uh. Uh. We'd love to see a demonstration of your famous strength. Well, in that case, okay, sure. Oh my goodness! He's even stronger than I thought he'd be! If we don't have customers, we'd be happy to pour sake for you! <laughs> no, Mr. Gonzo, you can do it! You're so strong and manly! <laughs> What a magnificent view! Magnificent! Excuse me, but are the blueprints for the extension all finished now? Of course they are, as you can plainly see. You're awesome! Gadget Master Zoshi Bunmaru! Hearing that from you two pretty ladies is wonderful! <laughs> <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Ms. Toka, and everyone else, Thank you for everything you've done for us. You're welcome. So, are you going to the capital? Yes. I want to see Miss Tenchi in person and ask her about everything that's been going on. I understand. Rishina, wait! Huh? I'm coming with you! Huh? Huh? Are you sure, Mekon? Of course, Rushina. I can't believe you were gonna leave me behind. From now on, you are gonna be my new partner. Huh? Now wait a minute. That's not your decision to make. Too late. I already did. That is, if it's all right with you. Um. Well, I. Uh... Toka, is it all right? I couldn't stop a girl who wants to go out on a journey. Please take care of her, Rushina. I will. You can count on me. All right, Mikan. Welcome aboard. Yes! Thanks a lot! You must remember to be careful. Don't forget, no matter where your adventures take you, this will always be your home. Mm. Thank you, Toka. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Yajiro! Let's ah! go! Stop dragging your feet around! Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. Take care. Careful, Mikan, and don't ever take your eyes off of Yajiro. Because he was... He was a swordsman fighting with the rebel army. Tokaro? Yes. It is the pleasure palace run by Tokakurenai, one of the former Jutensin. And Rushin Atendo is there as well? Very interesting. Yes, but she has left there and is now headed here towards Capital City. Then let her sleep. Why don't you sing her a little lullaby? Yes, ma'am. The Blade Bard sends she Soma, right? Yajiro! Don't try to look over here! What? Did you say something? I told you not to look! How did I know? I couldn't hear you! This feels wonderful. Glad you like it. Well, guess I'm handy to have around. Yeah, your balloons are great, Mikan. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll be going through the outposts, so we have to cleanse ourselves today. Yeah, but 
Why does that dumb pervert Yajiro always have to come with us? He hopes if he's with me, that he'll be able to meet Miss Tenchi. What? But that doesn't make sense. I thought that he actually hated Miss Tenchi. So why should you help him see her? Yachan's convinced that she's really a bad person. That's what he believes anyway. But I want him to see for himself that that's not really true. Hmm. They're so naive. Does she really think that a fugitive can pass through the outpost so easily? Huh? Yajiro Kojima. Uh, who said that? You must not let that woman near the capital. Who are you? If you ally yourself with that woman, then you are an enemy. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? How many times do I have to tell you not to look over here? <laughs> what will you decide to do, Yajiro? Okay, Roshina. The tent's all ready now. Yachan, why don't you sleep inside the tent? Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Besides, I've got some thinking to do alone. Oh. Well, try not to catch cold out here. Good night. What's going to happen if Rushina enters the capital? This'll be interesting. Miss Tenshi, what is it that you are planning to do while leaving me imprisoned in this place like this? Despite your best efforts, your methods will not bring about an end to these war-torn times we're living in. These are the futile ways of life. Allowing the warlords to rule will bring about a time where only the fittest will survive. And this is ultimately the end result we are seeking to achieve. Then in that case, there will be much bloodshed once again. Sacrifices must be made in order for times to change. But there are so many other ways to achieve change. You believe that there are those who will make your ideals become a reality. But I will put an end to that dream of yours. I'll do whatever it takes to see that our plans are successful. Hey, someone's coming up ahead! Wait! Isn't she that girl? Huh? Doesn't that look like her? Oh, yeah, it sure does. If we catch her, we'll get 5,000 gold pieces. Yeah, boss. Except, I've heard that she's really strong. Well, then we're probably no match for her. Hmm. But then again, maybe she just looks like the same girl. <sighs> what, are you kidding me? You're just gonna walk right up to the front gates? Well, I didn't do anything wrong, so why not? I'm sure we can talk about it. Yeah, that's right. Stop! Stay back! Don't come any closer! Okay. Uh, sh show us some kind of identification! Some what? I don't have anything like that. Oh. <sighs> Very suspicious. Some... some stinks here. I just washed this morning. <laughs> All right! Tell us what your name is! Why, sure, my name is Rushina Tendo. So oh. it is her! Come on, we gotta hey, get out of hey. here! What? I don't understand. We have no choice! Get her! Huh? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What was that thing? Uh, it was some kind of bouncing balloon. Exactly. Hmm. So this is what you meant by winning without fighting. That's the way you do it, right? Exactly. Now you understand, Mikan. <laughs> I see. How can they be so reckless? As if it's gonna be that easy every time. Ugh. Yajiro Kojima. If you are going to side with that woman, then you too will die. Who... who are you? Yachan, no! Rushina Tendo. Yachan, are you all right? Hang in there, Yajiro. My real target is the woman. Do it, Soma. Rushina! <laughs> so, you are Rushina Tendo, are you? You are the fugitive I've heard so much about. Stay here, Mikan. Take care of Yachan for me. Okay. I am Soma Sanzo, one of the Jutenzen. I'm the Blade Bird Senshi Soma. Jutenzen? Do you know why you're a wanted woman, Rushina? This is simply a misunderstanding. If I could just see Miss Tenchi, but Yachan doesn't have anything to do with this. The fact that he's with you means that he also must be killed. Because he's with me. Listen to me! There are two things that I hate most in this world. Dried mushrooms and conversation! You can move pretty fast for a lady. I'll give you that compliment, I suppose. How dare you harm Yachan! So it's revenge, is it? But let's see if you can achieve it! <laughs> what is this pain? Oh no, Rushina! Hmm, what is it, Rushina? My, my ears, deep inside my ears, was that... Was that the sacred sound cannon? Impressive observation. You already figured it out. But dodging Soma's attack like that is only going to work against you. You've been hit by one of the sacred Juten weapons. The Sacred Sound Cannon. Your sense of equilibrium has been lost due to the damage to your inner ear, making it impossible to stand. In that condition, you can't even aim your gun. How dare you harm Yachan? Destructive wave pulse. The man uses nothing but waves of air. The sacred sound cannon's power is the ability to amplify sound waves. The amplified sound waves then create a wall of altered air that stops all things in their tracks and renders them indefensible. Uh, Mikan! <laughs> Give up now! There is nothing you can do to resist! Just sit back and relax while I strip you down and blast you into bits! Uh, 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 Rushima! Why aren't you fighting back? I don't get it! This isn't like you! You're the one who told me that revenge is useless! Come on, Roshina! I didn't see it coming. I couldn't even see my enemy or his fighting skills. What are you gonna do now? Surrender?
What's this crazy girl up to? <laughs> hmm? An eye for an eye? Sound. A vibration for a vibration. What's she doing? She's creating a whistle. Uh, Yajiro! She's trying to cancel it out by using her sound waves to overpower his vibrations. <clears throat> Don't underestimate me, girl! No, I'm out of breath! Weapon is broken. There's no use pursuing her. I seek people who have strength and power. I have no need for those who bring shame to the name of the Jutensen. No! What are you doing? Wait! Please wait! No, don't do it! No! Don't! No! Good. His fever's finally gone down. That's great, finally. But still, he hasn't woken up for so long. I sure hope that the herbs we've been using will bring him some relief soon. I don't think you have to worry about that. And why is that? I think he's faking it. I saw him open his eyes earlier. Huh? I bet he'll do it again if you just pop him a good one. You mean hit him? Exactly! I'll do it for you if you want me to. <laughs> You see? I guess you were right. You little twerp! What were you trying to do, kill me? No, hardly. This is wonderful. Since you can move so well, you must be all better now. Yeah, I'm feeling fine now. I was just messing around with you. He's just jealous because you and I are so tight. Isn't that right, Yajiro? Oh, I see. So you wanted us to worry about you, huh? <sighs> Sorry, Yachan. I hope we didn't hurt your feelings or anything. We'll all sleep together in the tent tonight. No, don't be ridiculous. I'm not some little kid. According to Toka, all men are kids. That's what Toka always says. I'd have to agree with her. Is something the matter, Yachan? You've been staring at the mountains for a while now. Oh, it's nothing. Are you seriously thinking about going over those mountains? Huh? That's right. The most direct way to get to the capital is to go over the Chirombo Mountains. Then that's what we'll do. Uh. We'll go right over the mountains. Right, Yachan? Spirit Peak, Chirombo. The wind and fog and the sheer face of the rocks will be difficult to navigate. It's a danger of all dangers. It might be easier to go through the outposts. That's a tough climb. I'd rather make the climb than hurt people fighting them along the way. But if it's too much with your injuries, I understand. I'll go with you, if you're seriously set on doing this. <sighs> now that I have been attacked by one of the Jutensen, I'm afraid the situation has reached the point of no return for me. I have got to go and see Miss Tenshi as soon as possible. Hmm. Yes, me too. I don't want to be the only one who's the odd guy out here! Huh? <laughs> hey! Knock it off! What's so funny anyway? <laughs> You're such a kid! What did you say? I see. Soma, huh? Yes. Very well. And the next assassin? 
already discharged. The Blade Bard Senshi. Soma Sanzo was laid to rest by the fugitive? How embarrassing. And so you're asking me to finish the job? What a bit part I've been given. Wow! Nice body! Gladly. But this girl... Could this be... Rushana? Yet another one of the Jutensen attacks us. Huh? A close look reveals that it's a childhood friend. He's been a pervert and a klutz ever since we were kids. He looks like he's grown up a lot now, but... But still, I wonder... I'm sure he's still the pervert and klutz that he always was. The next episode of Grenadier, the Smiling Senshi, an enemy from the past, Aizen Teppa. Would you like to join me?